Hey, it's all with more updates on World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Like the video, subscribe for more content, and listen up, dudes. Dragon riding talents are viewable in game, and while they don't work, we now have kind of a framework for how dragon riding progression is going to work. There's still a lot to speculate on, but we can put a few earlier predictions to rest. For now, let's just kind of get right into how to unlock dragon riding. It's just done via questing through the story campaign in the Waking Shores. It's the first leveling zone in Dragonflight. That means you'll take to the skies pretty darn early, like within the you know, like first hour or two. Well, unless you get distracted by numerous side quests, but I suggest going for the dragon riding first, then circle back. At the moment, dragon riding starts off with three vigor. That's the energy that you use to gain height and increase speed with a forward push. With that, you also go through a tutorial of how to ride your dragon, then you take a tour of the amenities available for your dragon, including customization and most importantly, training. And that's sort of it. You're left to your own devices after this. You can continue questing if you like, you can check out the dragon racing courses dotted throughout the zones, or you can develop your dragon riding even further. So let's talk about the dragon riding talent and training. This is going to be a kind of a short section because everything's broken, including the image that I captured before. I completely lost my dragon riding in the alpha, but that's okay. There's a fairly linear progression track that strengthens our dragon riding as we move down. Here at the top is where we put in considerable work to increase our vigor and increase its regeneration significantly. And as we progress, Vigor gets higher and higher, maxing at 6, it can recharge very very quickly after we defeat enemies in combat or after gathering, and it recovers faster when flying at high speeds, to the point where you can almost fly perpetually. There's even a PvP related ability that lets you dismount enemy players nearby. And how that's going to work between high speeds and latency is anyone's guess, but we'll see if it makes it into test. There are other perks data mined by MMO Champion like on use abilities and buffs that don't show up on the tree at the moment. What we're really here for though, the reason that I posted this video, is that we now know how to develop our dragon writing, and this is supported by a blog post from the WoW team that they released just a few hours before this recording. Reading from the blog post, dragon writing features its own progression track, unlocked when you obtain your first Dragon Isles Drake. Through this progression track, you can unlock more abilities, increase your drake's vigor, and more. Dragon glyphs, symbols of power scattered all over the skies of Dragon Isles, can be collected to advance your progress track and gain access to perks. Some dragon glyphs will be relatively simple to procure, while others will require a bit of exploration and clever use of your dragon riding abilities to acquire. From the looks of it, we can start finding these glyphs immediately after learning dragon riding. The glyphs look like this, but a little bit smaller. This one's just an example. Once you discover one, you just need to fly through it to collect it. In the alpha, each glyph is considered an achievement, and every glyph comes with a description telling you the relative area the glyph can be found. So collecting the glyphs won't feel like you're just flying around blindly. Your achievement UI is your handy dandy checklist. I don't intend to spoil you, but for the sake of giving you an example, I'll give you one easy freebie for, you know, showing you how to find these glyphs. For the most part, you want to look from higher elevations, that way you can survey the land and spot the glyph. It's fairly bright and pretty easy to see, however, it does, at the moment, have a limited view distance of about 100 to 150 yards, so you'll still be doing a bit of searching. Dragon Riding Talents cost 3 glyphs each, and there are a total of 40 glyphs to be found on the Dragon Isles. However, there are 14 purchasable talents so far, and I guess not enough glyphs to purchase every talent. This could mean anything, so let's not draw any weird conclusions yet. From reports, the points earned from glyphs are shared account-wide. That means you only have to locate these glyphs one time, and that credit is shared across your account. The impression I'm left with so far is that in theory, one could find and collect the dragon glyphs all at once by collecting these glyphs, then going back to get talents that strengthen dragon riding, and then collect the harder to the hardest to reach glyphs, making dragon riding its kind of decoupled progression path from everything else. It almost seems like players will be able to hold off on completing zone quest lines in favor of just developing their riding skills. But the wild team can easily throw a wrench in this by double gating the talents, both with a glyph currency and like a separate milestone like completing quest content, reaching level cap, or keystone master because pff, obviously the best fly above the rest, totally kidding. 
Under the assumption that talents won't be double gated though, I find the freedom to develop our dragon riding to be really liberating. It's already going to be pretty cool that we can fly around within the first few hours of the expansion, but even cooler that to make our flying better, we've got to, you know, fly better. It's a circle of activity to reward, and I like that. We're still a ways off from Dragonflight going live though, and anything can happen, so trust in me to keep you up to date. Thanks for coming, and if you don't mind, like the video, subscribe for more content, and let me know what you think. I'll catch you later. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Thank you.